The Sea of Galilee Prophecy The Sea of Galilee also, known as Lake Tiberias, and in Arabic Buera Tabria, is an important historical, geographical feature that lies at the border of present day Israel. It is situated in the north of Israel at the junction of four countries, namely Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, and Israel. It is one of the largest freshwater lakes and also is one of lowest beneath the sea level freshwater lake on Earth. Its maximum depth is approximately 43 meters. It is about 13 miles 21 kilometers long and 8 miles 13 kilometers wide. The lake is important to Judaism because some of the oldest synagogues found were situated on the towns that surround the lake. It is important to Christianity because this was where most of Jesus' ministry occurred, including some of his miracles. The lake is also inscribed in the Bible. However, it is the topic of utmost relevance today because it has a special significance in Islamic eschatology. According to Islamic traditions, the lake itself is a sign that holds the clues to the end of history. There are two traditions in this regards. In the first tradition, it is said that when the force is Yaj, M-A-J-O-J, who are children of Adam, i.e. Homo sapiens, will arrive at the lake, their front members will start consuming the lake water, and by the time their latter members will arrive, the lake would be dry. In the second tradition, which is an extraordinary hadith by Tamim, Ad Dari, it has been narrated that the drying up of the Lake of Galilee will herald the release of the Antichrist, known as Dajjal among Muslims in the public sphere. Hadith of Tamim al-Dari can be referenced from various sources, as these traditions have been narrated over 1400 years ago. It is remarkable that some of the events that are unfolding before our eyes precisely follow the chain of events exactly as described in those hadith hadith narrated by Hadrat Noah's Ibn Saman R.A. Rasulullah Salallahu Alaihi Wasallam is reported to have said then Yaju and Majujgag and Magog will emerge and surge forth in all their fury, when those from among them who constitute the first part of their army pass the lake of Tiberias Sea of Galilee, which is in northern Palestine, they will drink up all the water of that lake, and by the time those that constitute the latter part of that same army pass the lake, they will say their use to be water here, long ago, moving on to present day, water from the Sea of Galilee is being used as a fresh water supply reservoir for Israel. The water level in recent years is the lowest it has ever been. Water has receded more than three meters across the lake. The lake is supplied its water by River Jordan and underground springs. Owing to salinity, there is a chance for the lake to be homogeneously salinized sooner than later, thus rendering freshwater fish extinct. The fisheries that used to be a thriving industry has nearly collapsed. Several scholars in the Muslim world are observing the lake's water levels closely. The drying up of the lake is predicted to be followed by a chain of events that include a grand war, the Mahama, and the return of the Christ or Messiah. 
Holy Prophet Hadrat, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi, Walehi Vassalam gave us several prophecies to recognize this era, and it is therefore important to look at the current events and the march of humanity in light of these recorded traditions. It has to be remembered that, according to Islamic eschatology, the end of times and end of history are two separate events. The former refers to the doomsday, while the latter marks the era when good will eventually triumph evil. Imran Hossein opines that the Islamic traditions, particularly regarding to the end of history, have to be understood in the light of Quran and subjects like international relations, modern history, modern financial systems, and modern civilization all have to be studied in conjunction with the Quran for valid analysis. For now, the lake is a few years away from drying up. However, with the present level of unrest in the region, circumstances can be triggered that accelerate depletion of this freshwater resource that nestles at the borders of four countries. The unleashing of forces of darkness is the stuff of entertainment in the popular culture. If the Malhama breaks out as predicted, then how prepared are we? Would we be on the right side of history? The Sea of Galilee is the water clock for Muslims and water is running out. Allah knows the best. Thanks for your time and attention please. Keep supporting by watching my channel Chemult Vlahor.